University of Ghana is not going to chase you or remind you to pay your fees. They are not going to do that. <laughs> so the only thing is that it's going to go against you. And since you do not want that, you will pay. They are not going to tell you where specific facilities are. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. If you have been with me on this one, thank you so much. I do appreciate you. My name is Betha. In today's video, I am going to talk about things that the University of Ghana will not tell you as their students. But that much I do, let's be going right into today's video. University of Ghana is not going to chase you or remind you to pay your fees. They are not going to do that. <laughs> Or like secondary school or senior high school where the school administration, especially the BEZA, chase people to pay their fees. This is, this is not done in the university. They don't have time. <laughs> so the only thing is that it's going to go against you. And since you do not want that, you will pay. <laughs> That's best, the best way I can explain it. You will pay because you know that uh, in the beginning of school, you have to pay before you register for your course. So if you don't pay, it will go against you and you also know that you have to pay in the second semester to register your second courses so it's like that <laughs> so university of ghana is not interested in chasing you around or even reminding you to pay your fees no you yourself you know that you owe the university so you have to pay <laughs> let's go to the second one the second thing the university is not going to inform you or tell you about is the programs and then the courses so university of ghana is not going to tell you the courses you have in a program the only thing you know is the programs and as to the courses and the programs you have to find that out yourself you'll be doing something called HEC University of Ghana registered courses so those courses are mandatory for you to do to add to the, the courses you are doing so, so you choose one or may probably three sometimes and then you choose one so they're not going to tell you it is when you get to that semester before a communicate will come out that add this one drop this one do this attraction addition and all those things you actually have to find out yourself please they, don't, they are not going to give you that details no it is not their responsibility they are not interested in you know stressing themselves in that sense <laughs> so yeah so for instance for me uh i'm doing a bachelor of arts in humanities public administration sociology information studies so the courses under um sociology they are not going to tell you so the courses are First semester basic concepts in sociology and then African traditional religion, stuff like that. <laughs> then for info studies, we have introduction to computing and then um, computer information management. Yes, information management. Yeah, so and then public administration. I actually dropped public administration, but I think public administration is um, management something I've forgotten. <laughs> Yeah, so you are supposed to find out the courses that you are going to do. Yeah, the next one I'm going to talk about, which is number three, is automatic residence. Now, University of Ghana is not going to give you automatic residence because you are coming from a far place, from the northern region or from Rota region. Even if you are closer to the school, they are not going to give you automatic residence. No, it doesn't work like that. But what you have to do is apply when accommodation portals are open i think i've mentioned this several times in my videos <laughs> if you're hearing this for the first time it means you have not watched my other videos please go and watch that video so portals will be open enter your accommodation preference whether you want traditional halls or you want the diaspora halls or you want the private halls or yes so that's it so they are not going to tell you about anything residence you have to cater for your own residence if you want them to keep you on campus then you register when the portals are open if you miss the portals you have that's it <laughs> That is okay. I think the least you can do is also to see their house masters if they can help you in that regard. Apart from that, please. <laughs> so the next thing is the fourth thing, I guess. They are not going to tell you where specific facilities are. You have to figure it out yourself. I have a video. It's either it is uploaded or it is about to be uploaded where I talked about tour, tour, campus tour. Please tour the campus everywhere to know where every activity is every facility is because the university of ghana is not going to tell you where the library library is where the jqb building is where the canteen is where the bush canteen is where you can get groceries it's various departments various halls because sometimes we need to go to various halls where um various lecture halls are they're not going to tell you all these things please you're supposed to figure it out so let's tour be your friend and then don't just tour one day and that's it 
Luckily, I have a video of the JQB building. Please check it out. I also have videos of the sociology, history, and uh, English department. Also check it out. I have the video of part of the Commonwealth Hall, which is the Bacchus Garden. Check it out. I have the Quaffle Hall experience. I think two videos. Please check it out. It's going to be awesome. So when you go, it's just like adding up to information that you have. Please tour the campus as well or satisfying as you want to tour it. The campus is actually beautiful. So I don't think you even get tired touring it. It's just beautiful. Yeah, so there are a lot of places to tour on campus. Please tour. The other video I said, what to do on your first day. Go watch that video. That video is loaded to tell you a lot of things to do. Tour the campus as often as possible. I guess I've said that twice. So the next one is the university is not also going to tell you the opportunities available in the university. No, they are not going to do. They are not going to do that. What is going to help you is um, your mail. Usually, information goes through the mail. So that's the only point. They are not going to tell you opportunities that comes. Sometimes scholarship opportunities, um, counseling and guidance sessions they are holding a forum that will help you um, people come to you know have programs helpful programs sports programs that you may have interest in but they're not going to tell you so you have to figure and find those informations out at the appropriate places and that one of the places i said is your mail and then notice board as well but i don't think uh, well the notice board still functions but yeah. the mail is the easiest electronic way to get information also there are clubs in the university we have the src we also have department associations yes in, interesting things that you want to engage in we also have you know course reps so you can be a course rep for your class your course right yeah but they are going to tell you all these things you have to figure it out and you know act accordingly the last but not least i'm going to talk about is carry your id card that is when it's being given to you along when you are on campus or when you want to access specific facilities so if you are going from one hostel to the other you will need your student id card to enter your details in the protest load uh, i did a video here talking about um voter or where people are saying that place is strict please don't watch that video if you have not you will know whether that place is strict or like a military camp or like an like a secondary school please go watch that video you will need your student id to prove that the students they are not up to any harm they are not up to harming anybody or doing anything mysterious and i also want to talk about one last thing that the university is not going to talk to you about when you don't do well in one of your courses you are supposed to do a receipt but they're not going to tell you when or the exact time to do a receipt somebody can be in level 400 doing a receipt for level 100 paper but you have to receipt that paper you didn't do well in before you graduate if you are also owing the school when you are going to graduate it will reflect so please don't owe the school whether school fees or anything of that sort don't owe anybody <laughs> yes don't owe because it's going to go against you think they are forgotten they are not forgotten it's in their system they are going to fish you out when the time is right <laughs> all right thank you guys for watching this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have not given it already the thumbs up button is like this please hit it also hit the subscription button so that whenever i upload a new content you get it turn on your notification bell so you are notified when i post a fresh and new content with this i've come to the end of my video i hope you enjoyed it please share this video to anybody who may need this video we we'll meet again. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys in my next video. Bye.